don't start me. Don't start me crying again. When I was asked by Christy if I would like to be a speaker for the 2024 Run Oak Heart Ball, I was, I was very happy. I would say, absolutely. I would love to get my story out there. I would love to encourage someone. I said, oh, when is it so I can put the date on my phone? She said, it's February 10th. I said, what, are you sure you, it's February 10th? She was like, yeah. I was like, that is the exact date of my heart transplant five years before. For Brandy Dudley, timing is everything. And it seems to be a theme that runs through her life. My doctor, Dr. Mazimba, Sula Mazimba, he came in and he said, um, I don't want you to be discouraged. I said, I'm never discouraged. He said, well, I just don't be discouraged. We had a couple of offers. We turned them down because we felt they were not right. But one is coming. I am not kidding you. <laughs> About five minutes later, he came in. And Dr. Uh, Mazimba, he never has a worried look on his face. <laughs> but he had a worried look and I said, let me guess, you found a heart. He said, how did you know? He's African. He said, how did you know? I was like, no, seriously, you, you did? He was very serious. You got this. And the next day, February 10th, Brandy had the heart transplant that would give her a renewed purpose. She's one of the most positive people you'll ever meet, passionate about encouraging others and seeing the best even when times are difficult. Everyone loves peppermint, but we're gonna put a little spin on it. We're gonna make it blue because when I think of mint, I think of the color blue. That positive passion is reflected in the business Brandy and her family created a line of natural health and beauty products she'd been making as a hobby for several years. There you go. This is our mint sugar scrub. So I was in the hospital and I was fighting this battle of rejection. And I said, I've got to do something more with this. And when people think of heart, they think of love. And then I was thinking people need to practice self-love more, taking care of their bodies. Because you know, as you know, sometimes heart disease can be avoided sometimes heart failure if you eat right. And I was like, people need to practice self-love more. And I was like, oh, self-love. And with that epiphany, Brandy officially launched her self-love brand. Products for the skin, but a message from the heart. I always say there's somebody out there going through something worse, but I want people to, to live because I, I want people to know that they have a purpose in life. And I, I think I've been put here to educate people and also show them there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Give them some hope. Hope, encouragement, and time are what Brandy believes the American Heart Association have given her. Throughout her journey, the training, procedures, and devices that have saved her life are a direct result of what the American Heart Association does and what you are doing. It has helped me. I have a device called CardioMEMS, and CardioMEMS is able to measure how much fluid you have and whether you're in heart failure. It goes straight to the facility that you work with, and they can call you and say, hey, Ms. Dudley, you're heading into heart failure. Let's keep you out of the hospital. Increase this or reduce this. Through the money that AHA brings in and is donated to science, it has helped me. Even though I've spent a lot of time in the hospital, it could have been could have been more without this device that I use. So it is it is very important that it, it, no donation is too small. Even if you have pennies, change laying around, drop it off, donate it. A dollar, two dollars. If you're throwing a shindig, you're having a birthday party or anything, you want to have collections. Be be thoughtful enough that maybe um, half or a portion you can donate to American Heart Association because they really are saving lives and they could possibly save yours.